I think uh, we might have some uh, cross pro- uh, programming to consult here. One second. Uh, yes. The system that drove us into this ditch are the only people qualified to lead us out of this ditch. You know, slavery didn't end because the political establishment woke up one day and said, let's end slavery. The abolitionist movement actually began with the early evangelicals and the early Quakers. The people stepped in, and that's what began the path to abolition. Same with giving women the right to vote. The political establishment Second didn't wake choice. up one day and say, let's give women the right to vote. With the women's suffrage movement, it was an example of the people stepping in, which then led the political establishment to make changes. So in a weird way, does it seem like we're sort of absurdly focused on politics all the time instead of actually what you're talking about, which is more a, a movement of the people that isn't, it's not necessarily political per se. Well, I think that's sort of the point. Abolition was a moral stance. Women's suffrage was a moral stance. Okay, that is amazing. That is amazing. And it does actually fit with the commentary. So Dave, in response, and whatever else you say about Marion Williamson, that's more history than I've ever seen on that show. Yeah. Mentioning like that's more history and sociology than I've ever seen on that show. Ever. And so Dave takes that as an opportunity to be like, because what 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 John Brown and abolitionists were like was they really were a bunch of people who were just like, we should just end slavery with ideas. Lincoln was like, I don't want to fight a civil war. People are too wrapped up in politics. I think Dave. <laughs> Dave is so fucking stupid, dude. It's relentless. Harry <laughs> Beecher Stowe the- wasn't perfect, but I think Dave would definitely consider her SJW. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> Harry Beecher Stowe is always just. Don't you think Harriet Beecher still is part of this, like, it's too much emotion. left? She uses too many appeals to emotion. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have a case like Harriet Beecher still. <laughs> or no, that would be, that would actually, <laughs> that would be the Sam Harris, right? It's like, I mean, then you have Harriet Beecher Stowe. And of course, I condemn the Ku Klux Klan, but she is the moral equivalent of the Ku Klux Klan. Man, if all of these people were on Twitter at the time, all of their feeds would literally just be slavery should end, but like Lincoln is divisive. Harriet Beecher Stowe is an SJW. Is Frederick Douglass secretly a Mohammedan? (laughs) That that would be the whole fucking feed. (laughs) I mean, there's a lot of, I understand Frederick Douglass making a lot of the right noises, but I have a lot of concern about what it actually means when the Negro actually is in the main house. And I shouldn't be condemned for saying that. Civil War era Sam Harris. Oh, man. (laughs) Right. There's definitely a guy that is just that, that literally existed back then that was doing just that. Totally. And that's what they're doing. My, ter- my, my racial paranoia is perfectly justifiable right. along, along rational lines. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not understanding. They actually, they, no, no, no. They put the brain, they, they had people from Africa that they put in a zoo and they observed them for science. You can't argue with facts. I get that. I get that slavery is bad, but on one hand, we have an escaped slave that <laughs> cut the throat of a young farmer girl. And so what do you have to say about that? Yeah. So, in other words, we need to take this seriously. Okay, Nat Turner hurt a lot of people. People that were offering to give him water. Okay. So, in other words, I, no, no, I agree with you. Slavery is wrong. But if we don't deal with the fact that Nat Turner led an uprising, then we're not being morally serious. Do you want another Haiti here? <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, though. It's like, you know, so it's like, yeah, because the suffragettes, they all went down uh, the street. And they were smoking cigarettes. And that was just, that was kind of cool, right? So what you're I saying saw that picture. is the suffragettes prove that everyone's just too consumed in <laughs> politics these days. <laughs> Yeah, good takeaway. <laughs> it's like, no, so Marion Williamson, so her whole point about the abolitionist movement was that people are too wrapped up in identity politics. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was just five minutes in. Too, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. 
and she's what's amazing and what's interesting there that that's the funny thing to me honestly about Marion Williamson is that she is she like everybody does their jokes about the orbs and whatever and whatever I you know I don't care either way but she is um she's a best selling author like she's incredibly media trained mm -hmm. so I think she's very well aware of the kind of platform she's going on and she's aware that you know, Dave is, I mean, it's not that hard to pick up that Dave might have some limitations. Do you want to sample uh, Dave's questioning technique? Yes, please. I'd like a little bit more. Thank you. This is a great detour. And was to say, you know, in about 35 some odd years, you're going to be on stage running for president of the United States. And at the first debate, you're kind of going to be the one that most people are talking about. What would you have said? If that's God's will, then that's God's will. Yeah. Huh. Fuck yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. So let's <laughs> let's dive into a couple things. Here. <laughs> now, am I being too sympathetic to Maureen uh, Williams, Marion Williamson, where I kind of felt like that was her way of saying, like, let's get to it, asshole. People have been tweeting me clips of you with Ma uh, Stefan Malinieu all day. I'm not playing nice with you, you fucking prick, you I think fucking the, empty head. I think the calculations that just went through Dave's head were, well, in a f past life, I would have challenged that because I'm an atheist skeptic. <laughs> but I have been hanging out with Ben Shapiro, so I should probably let it pass. <laughs> he just... I think he's also just so traumatized from what he did with from the uh, Joe Rogan building code experience that he's loath to challenge anybody. It's like, well, if I ask Marianne what she means by that, what if all of a sudden, two minutes later, I'm saying Amazon and blah, blah, blah? Well, because he's, he's finally got a Democrat to sit down with him after the Buttigieg thing fell through, after everyone scolded his social media guy for saying, like, we'll talk. Um, bad form, Buttigieg I gotta guy. Be, I got to be really form, nice. You I'm on my best behavior with Marianne. Right. <laughs> okay, Marianne Williamson's here. Um, we don't quote we don't all right no no questions about phrenology uh not gonna talk about <laughs> no social cohesion not gonna talk about social cohesion <laughs> it's 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 serious dave time because i'm open-minded and, and you know what's great about this and again no shade on marrying williamson but we're gonna hear about this for like the next year it's like, yeah, I know that I had the head and I didn't even know, but I get, you tell me he was a part of a meth lab. Like uh, Dave Rubin is going to interview like the fucking head of the biker gang from Breaking Bad who tells him that his like speech was suppressed at like a coffee shop in Albuquerque. And then and people go, like, hey, Dave, why did you have like the white supremacist head of a meth ring? Well, I, I didn't. I didn't exactly know, but ideas, and I had on Marion Williamson six months ago. That's going to be his stand-in. You know that, right? A lot is. You got a you got a clip. No, I'm drop. just listen through more of it. Uh, oh, I can't wait to hear more of this. I'm ex so excited. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.